How does the regeneration valve work? When the shear jaw closes in regeneration, the oil that would normally leave the rod end of the cylinder and return to the excavator's tank is instead diverted to the bore end of the cylinder, increasing the flow by approximately 50% and speeding up the jaw closing. In this mode, oil pressure on both the rod and bore sides of the cylinder piston are basically equal, and although this speeds up the cylinder extending speed, it results in pressurized fluid on the rod side. If left in this mode, cylinder power is greatly reduced. To provide full power when the upper jaw hits the material, the pressure rises. This is referred to as the power mode. Once pressure exceeds the adjustment cartridge settings, it then shifts the rod oil back to the excavator hydraulic tank instead of the bore end of the cylinder. Pressure in the rod also drops, allowing full force from the bore pressure to be applied to the upper jaw for full power cutting force. For the jaw opening process, the oil goes to the rod end of the cylinder and the bore oil goes back to the excavator's tank.